Welcome to part one of the lesson on looking for patterns to write equations. Example one, we're asked to determine the pattern and complete the table. We want to graph the results and then write a formula or equation to describe the relationship between the input and output variables. The input variable is x, and notice how we have all the inputs. The output variable is y, so we want to begin by determining what the outputs would be by looking for a pattern. And this one's pretty straightforward. Notice how we have three, four, five, so the outputs here are increasing by one as the inputs increase by one. So it appears this output would be six, followed by seven, and then eight, which means this output or y value would be one less than three, which would be two. Now let's write the ordered pairs. So we have negative three comma two, negative two comma three, negative one comma four, zero comma five, one comma six, two comma seven, and three comma eight. Now that we have the ordered pairs, let's plot these points on the Cartesian plane. Notice how the input values or x values go from negative three to positive three, and the outputs or y values go from positive two to positive eight. So because we don't have any negative y values, let's go ahead and sketch the horizontal axis lower than we normally do, let's say here, and then we'll sketch the vertical axis here. The reason we sketch the horizontal axis lower is because there are no negative y values or negative outputs, so we're not going to need this part of the vertical axis. And now let's work on scaling the horizontal and vertical axes. Because the x values or inputs go from negative 3 to positive 3, and the outputs or y values go from 2 to 8, let's go ahead and scale both axes by 1s. So to the right we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. And to the left, we'd have negative one, negative two, and so on. And then on the vertical axis, moving upward, we'd have one, two, three, and so on. Moving down along the vertical axis, we'd have negative one, negative two, negative three, and negative four. Now let's go ahead and plot the points. The first ordered pair is negative three, comma, two. So because the output is negative three, we'll first go to negative three along the horizontal axis, which is here. Because the output is positive two, we'll go up two units to this point here, where the input is negative three, and the output is positive two. Next we have the ordered pair negative two comma three. So we'll first go to negative two on the horizontal axis, where we have an input of negative two. Because the output is positive three, we'll go up three units to this point here, where the output is positive three. The next ordered pair is negative one comma four. So here's where the input is negative one. Because the output is positive four, we'll go up four. At this point, we have an input of negative one, an output of positive four. The next order pair is zero comma five. So at the origin is where the input is zero. Because the output is five, we go up five units, where we have an output of five. Whenever the input is zero, the point will always be on the vertical axis. Next order pair is one comma six. So here's where the input is one on the horizontal axis. Go up six units where the output is six. Next we have the ordered pair two comma seven. So here's where the input is two and here's where the output is seven. And three comma eight, input of three, output of eight. So this is the graph of the ordered pairs from the table. Now we're looking for a symbolic rule of formula that for any input or x value, we would get the corresponding output or y value. Meaning, we want a formula where when x equals negative three, y equals two, when x equals negative two, y equals three, when x equals negative one, y equals four, when x equals zero, y equals five, and so on. Let's focus on the ordered pair zero comma five to determine a possible symbolic rule of formula that would generate this table meaning we want an equation or formula that when x equals zero, y is equal to five. So one possible formula might be y the output is equal to x plus five. Notice when x equals zero, we would have y equals zero plus five, which is five. We already notice as a pattern in the table that as x increases by one, y also increases by one. So I think this formula is going to work. Notice how when x equals one, we'd have y equals one plus five, which is six. When x equals two, we'd have y equals two plus five, which is seven. 
and checking this ordered pair here, notice when x equals negative 3, we'd have y equals negative 3 plus 5, which is positive 2. So this is a symbolic rule that shows a relationship between the input and output variables. Now let's go to the graphing calculator to verify this. To do this, we're going to enter this equation or formula into y1 and then tick the table of values on the calculator with this table of values. So we'll press y equals, click on the old equations here, and once we're our symbolic rule of formula that we just found, y equals x plus 5. So we enter x plus 5 here. Let's first check the table of values on the calculator with this table of values. Before we do this though, let's press second window and make sure that we have the independent option on automatic. Now we'll press second graph, and notice how if we scroll up to the x value of negative 3, notice how the x and y values here match the x and y values here, which means our symbolic ruler formula is correct. Let's also look at the graph of this, but before we do, let's adjust the window so the window is the same as the window we see here. So let's press window. I think I've already set this up. Notice how the x values go from negative 8 to 8 by 1s, which we have, and the y values go from negative 4 to 10 by 1s, which we also have. So let's go ahead and press graph. Notice how we have a continuous graph here, not just a set of points. And the reason for this is because our equation is telling us that for any input x, the output or y is always going to be x plus 5. So once we write the symbolic ruler formula, we should modify our graph to represent the line shown here. So let's go ahead and graph the line passing through all these points. Again, because once you write the formula, every point on this line has meaning. Every point on this line would give us an ordered pair where the x value and y value would satisfy this equation or formula here, meaning the output is equal to the input plus 5. I hope you found this helpful.